right now, wherever and whenever you are. Hope you're safe, hope you're well, hope there's not too much on your plate. It's uh, Daryl as a service and I'm wanting to show you uh, a little something here uh, around um, what I'm working on in my little studio. I got a new table yesterday. Woo! It was a bit of a mission to try and put it together as you've uh, seen from the intro. Um, but I just want to change this angle here and show you a little of what's going on to try and um, use this as a studio and have a bit of variation as I, I try and create content from here and work from home. So this is another much needed episode because I haven't done a few th of them in a while on how I do what I do. Let's just get this on down here and get you all comfy. All right. So all up, what's going on here at the moment? What's going on here at the moment? We've got um, we've got a standing desk. I've had a standing desk for a while, um, but it was a few years ago I got it, and there was um, limited amount of room as I kept putting more things on. I I like to have two screens, and then. I started getting into having um, not just the laptop, but maybe a, a tablet there as well, so I can do some writing. Um, I, I started putting things on like lights to be able to use a green screen and to light the room up and to make sure that the content is um, easy to see. But what I wanted to show you today was um, the new desk, and one of the ways that I'm planning to do this to create different camera angles um, for meetings that I'm in, for content that I'm creating. And I'm using a, um, a tripod and a webcam. So let me just take you through that. We have the trusty old C920. Um, now this webcam is, um, I've had this for probably four years maybe now. Um, good thing about this one is it's um, still performing really well. It does a, a lot of the, um, the camera rendering to H.264, a good format for, for um, MP4 and stuff in the camera so that it's not having to work too hard on the laptop itself. But what I'm using is a Joby, um, Joby it looks like a, a selfie stick. Oh, what was this called again? The Grip Type Pro. Um, so the goal here is that it's telescopic uh, and that you can use it as a selfie stick and hold it there, but it's got two um, positions where I can lock that out so that it's flatter and more stable and um, and here it is. So how does this work with um, my setup here in terms of giving different angles for content that I'm creating and, and meetings that I'm attending? Now I am still going to use things like my iPhone for more quality recorded content. Um, I'm also working on a, um, a mirrorless uh, camera as well. I'm sharing one with my son at the moment just trying to get the right lenses for it. But this is going to be quite useful for shifting things around and, and capturing different angles and just changing it up a bit. Um, I'm going to be presenting something at the M365 May conference. Um, so that's going on all May, hashtag M365 May. Uh, is, um, I'm going to try and do something a little different rather than just being this talking head. I want to try and illustrate my topic, which is all about activity-based working. Funny kind of thing when you're in this room. How am I going to use this for two different sorts of angles? Well, if we have a look at, at my setup over here, oopsie daisy, we've got, um, I'm just full screening what, what the camera sees from the webcam. And um, if we look a little further down, we've got our OBS system over here. And I'm going to be using this for live events. I'm going to capture whatever I want the audience to see. Um, and I'm going to put it over on a screen so that it can be captured and put into the Microsoft Teams live event. But what can I do with this camera? Well, I've got the standing desk, of course. That's really cool. I've got um, different settings that I can, you know, uh, change the height. And that's how you experienced it when I started the sequence. Uh, and, you know, for those who are interested, by the way, because I'm using Filmic Pro, I'm using my iPad as a, a monitor so that I can actually turn things on and off, I can change it, I can get the focus right and be a one-man band. So back to this this uh, webcam, because it is on a tripod, this is the sort of thing that I can do. 
So it's, uh, you know, just twist and turn to bring it down. Um, I might make that a little lower. This way, when I'm down here, um, I'm able to whoop, <laughs> have it just above the screen. And that way, I'm, I'm actually having eye contact with people as they are talking with me. I can have people in teams. I can shift this a bit over here. You know, and that way it's it's just above the content um, and it's actually um, giving people that eye contact. So you can imagine the four or now the three by three, <laughs> nine people in a, in a grid that I'm, I'm generally looking in the right direction. But what about when I, I do want to have more of that eye level contact and I'm standing? So I could shift my team's um, content over here. Maybe let's just get a little quick team's meeting going here. And we'll do a meet now. Um, we just have to get the actual camera going, but we can use both at the same time. Start that up. And then we'll change the virtual camera. Uh, now in use here within Teams. Great. Let's join that. Okay. So that, that view of myself is never great quality because it's full screen and it's, it's kind of like a, a pre-meeting stage, but when people join, it looks a lot better. Anyway, you've got that. Um, the goal here is that if I'm looking down here now, um, then it's very much about looking down. And that might be fine if I'm sitting down at my desk where I'm able to uh, have a better eye level with my laptop. Um, but maybe when I'm standing, I want to make use of these two screens and feel like I'm looking at my content and looking at the audience. So this is what we can do. Let's uh, change this up a bit. And we'll telescope that up. And just by the way that I've managed my cables, just pass this through and around the laptop in between here. All right, we're done. How's that? So over here we have our, well, let's try this. It's a bit reversing here. You're filming this. Over, uh, yep. <laughs> over here we have the Teams meeting. Yep. Um, we have the Webcam in the middle, but we've got stuff over on the screen so I can mix it up and put it sort of right here and have that content in different scenes. And then that's going to be presented over there on the Microsoft Teams uh, live event or, or meeting. Um, I'm still staring into the camera so that people can see me and it feels like I'm still giving eye contact, but I'm a bit more animated. I'm doing other content and I've got a chair if I need it. Yeah, what do you reckon? Uh, that is a bit of my project. Um, let me know what you think. So that's a, a bit of what I've been working on. Um, I, I'm trying to be a bit more creative with my space, uh, trying to make it interesting, but also produce other forms of production. One of the other things I'm looking forward to doing too, because I, I don't have a, um, you know, a very deep room, I don't get that depth of field, but now that I've got this long desk, I've actually got this ability to come down and um, take these long shots down here of the table itself. So that I could be presenting some content all the way down over here and talking about stuff and um, talking about the screen and then I can overlay some things over the top of that. All right, cheers for tuning in. If you uh, are keen to continue to, to find out how I do what I do, I'll keep making these videos and I'll keep creating content. 
Um, thanks for uh, following, subscribing, liking, etc. Um, when you do like these videos, of course, that does help people to find them, um, and uh, it also helps my channel out immensely. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.